my thesis, how to use a study on the influences of attribution experience, satisfaction, random sets, and behavior intention. Introduction. Until the 1990s, Korean companies have used exhibition only as a means of promoting sales and raising corporate image. The main activity has been to grace consumer needs and information of new companies and competitors to secure new markets and potential consumers, and to introduce new products. In addition, the characteristics of one-sided information transmission and rapid changes in the consumption environment of radio, TV, and newspaper in the past have difficulty in forming a close relationship between companies and consumers. Focusing on the product promotion function, which is a unique role of the corporate public city exhibition hall, is admitted to be retrograde. Today's corporate public city exhibition halls not only have their own product promotion functions, but also play the new media of consumption, communication through communication activities between companies and consumers and provide information of their own companies, convenience facility, and complex cultural spaces. However, the lack of mission and the research on the corporate public city exhibition hall is insufficient and empirical research on the effect is very lacking. In this regard, this study tries to examine the effect of exhibition experience on satisfaction, render sets, and consumer behavior intention in order to suggest the necessity and direction of development of the corporate public city exhibition hall. In addition, it will identify the advantages and disadvantages of the exhibition, exhibition experience at the current corporate public city exhibition hall and suggest improvement, improvement plans and future direction. It will find a way to develop in, into a space that can promote intimacy between companies and consumers and satisfy various demands of consumers for exchange of information and communication and that can provide cultural services through cutting edge exhibition and display techniques to consumers and potential customers and form a local culture that contributes to the region. The theoretical background, chapter one, Corporate Public City Exhibition Hall. The Corporate Public City Exhibition Hall means that the subject of the establishment and operation of the exhibition hall is corporate, and is a terminal which belongs to the category of the corporate museum. According to the de definition specified in the Museum Act, and corporate museum is included in the categories of science museum, industry, technology museum, and history museum, and is a special museum that specializes in detailed collections. The Charter of the International Museum Conference defines museum as a facility made to contribute to uh, academy, research, and social education through display or exhibition for public education and entertainment by various ways of preserving and studying collections of art, history, finance, science and technology and culturally various materials and specimens such as botanical garden, zoo and aquarium. It can be seen a corporate museum that is based on the cultural domain of this museum. Chapter 2, Exhibition Experience. When you see, you will remember it. When you act, you will understand it. Experience exhibition refers to one that visitors themselves interact with exhibition by planning and practice, practicing their own exhibition behavior in the exhibition space and causing self-motivation. It is also an active exhibition where exhibitions and visitors 
visitors and exhibition spaces and exhibition spaces and exhibitions communicate with each other. And the exhibition that cannot be established without the voluntary actions and active participation of visitors. In other words, it is very important in today's exhibition environment as it gives an active meaning of doing something by itself away from the passive meaning of exhibition. As with experience induced active participation by stimulating in interest and the intellectual curriculum to visitors through a new exhibition production method. Visitors' participation aims to enhance the original meaning of, of the exhibition, which stimulates the viewer's emotion and input information to choose experience through five senses. Table 1, Types of Exhibition Experience display time, experience exhibition, interactive exhibition, participation exhibition, interesting exhibition, mind-moving exhibition. Chapter 3, Satisfaction. Satisfaction is a complex concept which refers to the degree of achieving motivation by basic human needs and as discussed in the behavior science and in the last process, is originated from the Latin word S-A-R-I-S and F-A-C-E-R-E, -E, meaning feeling or fulfillment. Visitor self and satisfaction is the concept of the overall evaluation of the corporate publicity exhibition hall. Satisfaction degree is the consumption associated with the product and service characteristics or the product and service itself. It can be defined as judgment on the consumption level related with accomplishments that satisfaction is provided to consumer and as the degree of subjective judgment and evaluation of visitors. Chapter 4, Brand Asset. A brand is not just limited to its name, but also includes psychological value as well as the physical composition of the product. In, order, in addition to the strength of the product, it has the power to influence development, independent differentiation, and purchasing choice through the consumer's use process, which is expressed as a brand asset. Entering into the 90s, asset evaluation of a company's brand began to emerge as an important issue. In most cases, brand asset can be guaranteed a profit higher than non-branded products or products in companies, individuals, and organizations. It can be said the combination of debt and assets related to brand names or symbols that are consistent, strong, and differentiated compared to other competitors. The research on the companies that from brand assets was conducted centering around the research of Acker and Keller. And this study also composed elements or brand assets based on the brand asset components model of these two scholars. Behavior intention has been interpreted in various ways according to its research field or object of social science and has been activity actively researched as a key element in the marketing field targeting consumer behavior. Behavior intention is a subjective function in which beliefs and attitudes are acted upon and intention is perceived as an intermediate barrier between individuals' attitudes and behavior and means an individual subjective state. Therefore, the behavior intention in the exhibition experience can be defined as the individual's will and the life that the viewers will express a specific future behavior they are before forming, forming an attitude for toward an object. The design of the research. Chapter 1. <laughs> 
every subject and research mode. In order to conduct this study, a survey was conducted on the visitors to a domestic publicity exhibition held in a personal branch feeling away, feeling way, in order to compare and examine the effect of exhibition experience, which is an in independent variable on experience, satisfaction, brand assets, and behavior intention based on literary research and previous studies, the research model is that I've shown in figure one. Chapter two, the research hypothesis. In this study, the biologist's hypothesis were established based on the theoretical considerations on the premise that the exhibition experience in the corporate public city exhibition hall will have a positive effect on behavior intention. Hypothesis one, exhibition experience will have a positive effect on behavior intention. Hypothesis two, exhibition experience will have a positive effect on satisfaction. Hypothesis three, exhibition experience will have a positive effect on brand set. Hypothesis four, satisfaction will have a positive effect on behavior intention. Hypothesis five, brand set will have a positive effect on behavior intention. Hypothesis six, brand set will have a positive effect on satisfaction. Empirical analysis, chapter one, exploratory factor analysis and reliability analysis. The KMO measure was 0.771, which satisfied the criteria of sample suitability and the very statistical test was also appropriate for the analytic analytical model. The commentary of the measurement variable was 0 0.9082.511 and all were 0 0.5 or more. The extracted factors were 11 including entertainment experience, deviation experience, aesthetic experience, educational experience, exhibition experience satisfaction, brand recognition, brand association, perceived quality, combination intention, and written intention. The total explanatory variable by these factors was 76.236%. The reliability among the extracted factors was the in entertainment experience was 0.882. Deviation experience was 0.933. Aesthetic experience was 0.715, education experience was 0.844, exhibition experience satisfaction was 0.927, exhibition service satisfaction was 0.885, brand recognition was 0.734, brand association was 0.793, recommendation intention was 0.7. 901 and the return intention was 0.953. Chapter 2 Complementary Factor Analysis. The overall complementary factor analysis model of this study shows that CMIN 1218.435, TF 531. CMIN 2.411, GFI 0.858, AGFI 0.821, NFI 0.844, RMR 0.044, RMSEA 0.060, and CFI 0.928. As shown in Table 2, confirming that the complementary factor analysis model considering the correlation between concepts can be seen as a suitable level.
table two compromise index of complementary factor analysis. Chapter three, correlation analysis. As shown in table three, the results of correlation analysis of this study show that most of the items were significant and suitability of the data is secured as the correlation coefficient vary was not more than 0.7. And there was no problem in the multicardinally raised in the multiple regression analysis. The average variance extraction was determined by whether and whether the scale value of the correlation coefficient between the concept exceeds the criteria in order to identify the discriminate validity of this study. Table 3, Correlation Analysis. Hypothesis Test, Chapter 1, Fitness of Research Model. In this study, the fitness of the model was evaluated by using CMIA, GFI, AGFI, NFI, TLI, RMR, and RMSEA. Generally, it is evaluated as a good model when GFI, AGFI, NFI, and TLI are 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 more or more, and RMR and RMSEA are 0 0.05 to 0 0.08 or less. Based on this, the result of the structural equation model suitability presented in this study are shown in Table 4. As a result of testing this model, the suitability index shows that Q value was 2.364 which is smaller than the recommended acceptance the level of 3 GFI was 0.968 and TLI was 0.973 which was over 0 0.90 the suitability index of GFI and TLI showing satisfaction in the RMSEA value was also 0.059 which is included in the suitability index of 0 0.05 to 0 0.08, indicating the level of satisfaction. Therefore, the hypothesis test was conducted by judging that the relational model presented, presented in this study is consistent with the analytical data obtained in reality on the satisfactory level. Table 4, Fitness of Research Model Results. Chapter 2, Results of Verification of Structural Equation Model. The structural equation model was set up for the research model set in this study. And the analysis results of the structural equation model in this study are shown in Figure 2. Hypothesis test followings are the result of anal analysis of the structural equation model. First, the variables influencing the exhibition experience are entertainment ex experience, education experience, deviation experience, and aesthetic experience. The most influential variables were educational experience followed by entertainment experience, aesthetic experience, and deviation experience. Second, the variables influence satisfaction were exhibit, exhibit exhibition satisfaction and exhibition service satisfaction. Among the two variables, exhibition service satisfaction were the more influencing variables. Third, the variables influencing brand assets are brand recognition, brand association, and perceived quality. The most influential variable was brand association followed by brand awareness and perceived quality. Lastly, 
The variable influencing behavior intention which are dependent variables were recommendation intention and revisit intention and more influential variable was revisit intention. Paper 5, Hypothesis Test Results. Chapter 3, Mediating Effects Verification Using Boost Strapping. Using the bootstrapping method of structure acquisition model analysis, the result of verifying direct, indirect, and total effect of the brand assets and satisfaction as parameters are shown in table 6. The result of the analysis or patterns is that the indirect effect of satisfaction is higher than the indirect effect of brand assets between the exhibition experience and behavior intention, and the brand assets is higher than satisfaction in the total effect as well. In addition, the interrelationship between the exhibition experience as an independent variable and the Behavior intention as a dependent variable was insignificant through the hypothesis, verification, and the mediation effect, verification using the bootstrapping. While the interrelationship through satisfaction and brand assets as mediating variables was significant. Conclusion. The implication based on the research results are as follows. First, as a result, the corporate public CV exhibition hall did not have much effect on the behavior intention of consumers simply by exhibition and exhibiting and viewing. This might indicate that companies that operate or prepare to open corporate public city exhibition hall should avoid such simple experience or simple viewing possibility. Second, the corporate public city exhibition hall cannot induce customers' behavior simply by exhibiting experiences. If the corporate public city exhibition hall is operated in combination with the brand assets of the company presented in this research or tangible and intangible assets of other companies more efficient results will be anticipated. Third, as derived from the result of the study, corporate product brands are exposed to consumers dwelling and they work very sensitive to cost consumers affecting their behavior intention. The positive image of a product brand will lead to satisfaction and behavior intention, which in turn will affect the company's sales growth. Therefore, companies should be very careful in product brand management. The academy's significance of this study is in that in investigate the relationship between satisfaction, brand assets, and behavior intention through the exhibition experience in the corporate public city exhibition hall by analyzing their structure empirically. In addition, it is accepted that it can be used as a practical basic material that can be more Practically in purchasing exhibition experience when you are opening a corporate public city exhibition hall or remodeling the existing one. It will have its own meaning if follow up studies proceed with various variables such as human and material factors of the corporate public city exhibition hall, including the information desk and guide, which are the contact point points with custom consumers, as well as four contact points in order to provide the best exhibition experience to visitors to the corporate public city exhibition hall. Thank you for listening.